On the leather today, I have a product from Wazoo. Every now and again, I run across something kind of cool. This is kind of one of them. It's a pendant whetstone, patterned after ones I've found in ancient grave sites. The knot on it's kind of cool. It's a fairly fine Arkansas stone. I'll put the specs up in the video. It's got a groove for a sharpening hook, different cuts on it for different things. It actually has where you can sharpen the serrated edges of a knife if you carry a serrated blade, which I really can't stand those things. You can make an oil or a whetstone out of it. I prefer not to carry oil with me if I have to. Or if you're actually gonna wear this as a pendant, if you use oil on this, you're gonna get that all over everything. So I'll usually use water, saliva, whatever. Wet it a bit. And you can keep your tool sharp. took the edge polished it up you can see where it's it actually does work quite well they're a handy little tool it's always handy if you're gonna carry a knife you better learn how to sharpen it granted there are services around that will sharpen tools for you but if you're out stuck somewhere there's nothing worse than a dull knife and a man that can't sharpen a knife Probably will have issues with a lot of things in the rest of his life. I was taught when I was fairly young, if I was going to carry it, I better know how to sharpen it. Same with most tools. So, I usually will have some sort of whetstone with me, and my knives are usually rather sharp. But, I would look for, that's a good last ditch thing if you have to, from Wazoo Company. It's always good to have something that's actually patterned after what people used to do in our in our past history. If it worked for them, generally it'll work for us. People don't change all that much. Just some of the tech does, some of the tooling does, but even still. This knife, like the whetstone, came from Viking grave sites and it still fits the hand. People are people.